Hey everyone, it's Chris here. Just coming here with a with another short video for you. I've had a few uh, followers ask, you know, about breeding canaries and knowing whether your hands are ready or not. They've had some chicks die, and you know, so I'm just gonna try and real quickly cover just some basic tips, just some basic things to look for in your canaries to know if they're ready to breed, to know, uh, you know, to try and give them the best health possible and stuff like that. And so. You know, so we'll start off here. So I, so I have a, I have a hen here. She's a really young hen, so she's not ready to breed yet. Um, probably within the next month or two, she might come into condition. She's, she was one of my last uh, hens from last breeding season, so she's a little bit behind the others. Um, one thing I look for in her, you know, to see if she's ready to breed, um, is one, she calls to a mate, to a male. Uh, many times when, when females are ready they kind of make a little small chirping noise and kind of flap their feathers and and like they're calling to someone and usually they they have a male that they like and they're they're trying to call to that male um that's one sign one thing to look for you know to let you know also the hens if they're ready to breed they'll start ripping up anything that they can get their beaks on so i have a newspaper bottom here and when my hands are ready, they'll start shredding this newspaper. They'll reach down between the bars, find a corner of the newspaper, and just shred it to pieces. Um, and so that's another really good sign to, that shows me that, hey, they're coming into breeding condition. They're, they're wanting to nest. Um, probably, and one of the last things to look for, and I probably won't grab her, um, but you can catch the hen, um, hold her, and, and blow on her belly and kind of separate it. And if her belly is kind of distended, looks like it's, it's round. Um, that's a sign that she's getting ready for breeding condition. She's her belly's or abdomen's preparing for for laying eggs. If she's not in breeding condition, it'll be concave. It'll be kind of like it's sucked in, and you can see where her rib cage ends, and then it kind of sucks in. Um, there's a little divot there, and you can kind of see her liver and stuff like that. And so that that's a sign that she's not ready. Her her belly is not doesn't look like she's pregnant or anything like that. You know so. So that's one way to look for um, whether whether a hen is, is ready, you know. And you can go down one level here. And here's a good example of my hen here that's jumping around. She's starting to rip up the the newspaper. She I put in a, a, a thing with nesting material in there. She's pulling it out and starting to rip it up. Um, she hasn't quite built a nest yet. And so I don't think she's 100% there. Um, also, these two birds are really young. Um, they're from last year. And so... Um, I, th I think that it's kind of taking them a little bit to get get in the groove of things and, and to figure it out And so, you know that that's one thing you could also ask yourself, you know, if your birds aren't breeding for you Are they too young? Um, you know and also check their underbellies, you know Look and see if they're shredding paper look and see if the if the hands call into the male or if the males courting her He's singing to her. He's trying to mount her you know, those are all signs that they're wanting to breed. You know, if they're not doing that, then they're not quite there yet. They're not wanting to breed. And, and that could be, uh, you know, they need more lighting or they need a, a little bit better diet to kick them into gear or or maybe they need a different mate. Maybe they, they don't like each other as much. And so those are all things to ask yourself and, and to try and be observant. You know, it's important to sit down and watch them for a good 15 to 20 minutes um, so they're comfortable around you and they start acting like themselves and then they'll, they'll kind of show their true colors whether they're happy or not. So and then you can go to to this hen here who for about three weeks built and built and built a nest but would just keep rebuilding. And it was, I, I finally figured out that she didn't really like her male. So I swapped out the male, gave her a different male and within five days she's built a nest that has a nice dome shape in it and is ready to lay eggs whereas before she had nesting material in the nest but it just looked like a messy hairdo and so that was something to that kind of told me that you know she's not quite ready or she's not happy with her mate you know something's not right so i changed out her mate and she'll probably be laying eggs any day now and her nest is a lot prettier um, it's got the dome shape to it underneath for the legs to for the eggs to sit in and so that's a good sign that she's happy she's building her nest she's ready to lay eggs and so um, I've had a few viewers ask you know they had some chicks that have died you know this, this hen here she's sitting on eggs 
Um, she hasn't quite hatched eggs, her eggs out yet. Or we could go down here. We have this hen. She just hatched out two chicks this morning. And so, um, you know, things to look for. Make sure your birds, they always have their egg food in hand. They always have food to feed their chicks. Canaries, the first few days are very particular. They don't feed seed to their chicks. They only feed egg food and soft foods and sprouted seeds and, and stuff like that. And so it's, it's important to have that on hand for them to feed them. Also, it's important to have your, your canaries in good health. Make sure they don't have mites. Make sure that they're physically fit. You know, they've had exercise months before they've started breeding. All that can play a factor. Um, you know, if your birds aren't feeling good, they're not gonna take care of the babies and the babies are gonna die. So if you keep having chicks dying, ask, you know, check, first of all, check your birds for mites. Catch them, put them up to your ear, listen for a clicking noise if, if you can hear it. That's a good sign they have mites. Give them some treatment. Um, give them some exercise that the next off season so that they're nice and fit and they're ready to go. You know, those are a couple things to pay attention to. Make sure their diet's up to par. Make sure they're at 14 hours of light. You know, all those are things that, that are important to look into so that your birds can raise their young properly. So there, there's many books out there. There's things online that you can, you can Google, research it. You know, it's important to know your birds to research maybe some of those issues. And so if, if any of you have any other issues um, that are more specific and you'd like me to talk about those, please leave a comment below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out or, or try to and, you know, give you some, some advice. And so um, thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment below, like it and share it. And see you guys next week.